Hello everybody, here again to have a look at the fact. Looking at the fact is the most important thing that we can do right now, because there's a lot of fun out there, but there are some things which are blatantly known, blatantly proven, and this is what we need to focus on. Because when we get into the FUD, when we get into all the speculation, yes, there are a few things which they are going to point out, but there are also a few undeniable facts which I think are worth looking at. So, once again, we're going to take a little bit of time here to highlight some of those. If you do learn anything, if you do find anything useful, interesting, smash that like button and subscribe because we are, of course, trying to grow the channel. We do an amazingly thanks to you guys, but yes, let's keep it up. But remember, this is opinion related. It is not financial advice. Jumping straight in now, we're going to have a look at our first piece. This one is coming from Kush2195, who posted this 10 hours ago. It is an excerpt from the New York Times newest article or recent article on GameStop and AMC. The stock market, he said, we have never seen a congregation of retail investors who have collectively come together on the internet and formed the largest, most powerful decentralized hedge fund in the world. Doesn't that tell you everything that we need to know? And don't think that that quote unquote hedge fund has gone away. Again, I do not like to think of it too much as that, but there we go. If they want to say that, then they can. But yeah, don't think that quote unquote hedge fund, as it has been called, has gone away. Everybody or most people do appear to still be here, if not buying more and adding to their position. So don't think this is necessarily a done game because I know a lot of the FUD is going to try to tell you that this one's over, but the fact points us in one direction. That's the first piece that we have, but don't worry, we have a lot more of this. Now, the second piece is going to be coming from this. This is this. It's coming from the user Dan Price who posted this one on Twitter. So, massive shout out to Remote Level 8. 8509, who posted this one two hours ago, and is speaking about where we are in the world. Workers around the world lost 3.7 trillion in the pandemic. Billionaires around the world gained 3.9 trillion in the pandemic. That is the biggest one-year transfer of wealth in history, and somehow nobody is talking about it. And of course nobody's talking about it, because when we think about who owns a large media the news, etc. We know who has those kind of powers, who is in those kind of industries, and it is not, unfortunately, the poor people, the 99% people like you and me. And that is why nowadays, with the advent of Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, we are in such a powerful place because we actually can talk about these things. We can highlight these things and we can get the word out there. And that is what we as a community are doing. So massive shout out to this user and this user for posting this and resharing it because it is stuff like this that we should remember, should think of, because this is why we are all here. We're here to stamp out a lot of the unfair behavior which is blatantly going on in our markets and we need to put a stop to it and at least highlight it. Now another piece of data that we should be looking at is this coming from the user poopypants2021, very interesting username, bullish. For those not on Twitter, a very clear and concise comparison to other stocks back in 2021. You can read the link, it is in the comment section. So Jackson Hunter, massive shout out to this user, said this. In 2021, AMC had about 209,420,804 failures to deliver. AMC's float is 513 million. The 2021 failure to deliver were AMC, for AMC were 40% of its float. Remarkable. Massive, massive number. And this is not what we usually expect is not what we usually see. This is one of those instances where one does have to stand back a little bit and think why, has to look at why, and has to understand what this means. It means that we're in a position, as we already know, a position that is unlike one that we really have seen before. We're in a very, very unique chance, a very, very unique opportunity, and as long as people continue to hold, the opportunity is still there. Because if we're here for the short squeeze, if we're here for that quote-unquote transfer of wealth, as it has been called, why have the shorts not covered? And of course, if the shorts have not covered, the data has not shown that this thing has ended. And that's why so many people are still here, people like you and me, because we know now what goes on behind the scenes. We know how they like to try and trick us, and we know the real data. 
It's very easy for anybody to find out with a couple of minutes worth of research, and that is why we remain here. It was initially about a short squeeze, and it still is, but I think right now we've seen loads of stuff across the market that really does require attention, require action, and that is what the whole AMC and GME movement is about now. It's about a much more fair market, because this one, which we're seeing right now, blatantly has a lot of areas which could do with some improvement. And I think that's why a lot of people do remain here. We're fighting for something, and by the looks of it, we're doing a very, very good job. So what do you think to the whole AMC situation? What do you think to where we are right now? I think we're in a great place, but I do want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Again, all opinions are welcome. Do drop me a comment, but I will be back with you guys in a bit for more content. So do hopefully join us for that soon. But for now, it is a goodbye. So see you in a bit. Goodbye until the next episode. Enjoy yourselves. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon